So you've been assigned an annotated bibliography. What is an annotated bibliography? And why would you write one? Let's start with what an annotated bibliography is. An annotated bibliography is a list of sources. For each source in your list, write a full citation, like you would in a bibliography or references list at the end of a paper, and then a brief annotation. For the citations, make sure to use the citation style that your professor has recommended or the preferred citation style for your area of study. An annotation is your description and evaluation of the source in your own words. Annotations are usually a few sentences long or about 100 to 300 words. Your annotations should include a brief summary of the source. What is it about? How would you explain it to someone who hasn't read the source? What are the main arguments in the source? What are its main conclusions? Does the source have particular strengths? Does it have particular weaknesses? Think about the research methodology, the author's qualifications, the source it appears in, or the validity of the arguments or conclusions. And lastly, how does the article relate to or fit into your research topic? In short, you're summarizing the article, but also providing your own interpretation of the article and explaining how it contributes to your topic or research question. Now, why would you write an annotated bibliography? An annotated bibliography demonstrates the quantity, quality, and scope of the research you have already done. In addition, it shows what you have learned about your topic from your sources. And the fact that you are offering your evaluation and interpretation of the sources demonstrates that you have carefully read your sources and critically thought about them. If you have any questions about annotated bibliographies or research, ask a librarian.